They drew Nazis I wanted to fuck. Hi there, and welcome to Hop and Charles Talk Comics Season 3, Episode 5. I'm your host, Charles Herring, and I'm here with my very good friend, Javier Gonzalez. Hi, Hav. How's it going? Hey, Charles. How are you? It's going great. I'm doing great. I'm very happy to do this late podcast. We are running behind on the schedule because, well, like usual, because of me, but we'll be back on track here with this podcast. We'll drop two weeks after the one that was two weeks late. Today, we're going to be talking about two comics for a change. Wait, no, that's exactly what we do every time. So we're going to do the same thing we do every time and talk about two comics, one that I chose and one that Hav chose. The comic I chose is a little thing that some people may or may not have heard of called Flashpoint. And, yeah, and they're, they're really obscure. It's, 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 it's incredibly obscure. Hard, hard to find. Yeah, it was difficult to find. At some point, I think they should do something like big with it, maybe make a movie, uh, maybe cast somebody that's not a monster in it. Yeah, there's that. Yes, there is that. Still going to uh, see the movie though. No, I yeah, I pro- I I'm going to I am going to see it. And then I chose a comic book called Tom Strong, which none of you have heard of, which is okay cuz I had not heard of it. Had you really not heard of it? No, at I, all? I legitimately hadn't heard of it. Okay. That's not a knock right. on it. I I legit legitimate le- ha- ha- words. words. I are legitimately tough. enjoyed it. So. Okay, good. But it's well, Alan Moore. I, I, you can pretty much enjoy anything Alan Moore writes because he does such a good job, even if it's not your thing. But Tom Strong was my thing. I, I, I want to be very clear on that. Yeah, Alan Moore is... It's hard to... I can't think of anything I've ever read by him that I was just like, ah, I'm not even going to finish this. Always pretty good. And, you know, if form holds... Which, you know, now we, we, we two two different comic books. We usually go when they were released chronologically. So Tom Strong, the first issue we read was released in 1999. In the year 9,000. Wait, no, that's not. That's the year 2000. 900. Yeah, it does, I guess it doesn't. It doesn't work as well. <laughs> yeah, I, I used to love that year in the year 2000 bit. I did um, too. And then your selection, Flashpoint, which guess what stars The Flash. You see what they did there with the name? I do. I do. According to my uh, Googling and Wikipedia research, 2011. 20, 2011. So, yeah. So you kind of already let that cat out of the bag. So you liked it, the Tom Strong. I did. I did enjoy it. No, it was a it was a fun throwback comic. Not necessarily throwback. I, it, I, I, I said before we started that I'd ask you this. Is that his character that he created? It is. As far as I understand it and everything I've read, my understanding is he just wanted to do a, I know we used this term before, like a, a love letter, love comic book to the pulp kind of action heroes from the early 1900s, kind of like Flash Gordon meets, what's the other one I'm blanking? Buck Rogers. Buck Rogers. Yeah. There's another one that I'm blanking on, adventurer, scientist kind of dude. I mean, shoot, just throw them all in there. Uh, Do- what's the Do- one with Johnny Doc Quest? Severin? Doc, uh, Doc Savage? Doc, Doc Savage, that was Doc, yeah. Se- Doc Severin. Yeah, Doc, Doc Savage. Se- Doc Severin, I think, was the, one of the band leaders of the Johnny Carson Orchestra. Well, close enough. <laughs> okay. I swear, I just, for some reason. Uh, hey. steam, steampunk a little bit. You get a little bit of the, you know, early 20th 20, early 20 century. Because he, he's born in the year 1900, I think, is the thing. Yes. His, they, they did, there's a whole lot of stuff that we have seen in other comics we've read because they've adapted from the same places. They're not, I'm not saying they took it from this. They took it from the same source material because we had Jupiter's Landing where they go to an island and gain powers. This is sort of that. His father and mother go to an African island. Yeah. The island is called Ataba Teru. However, that's how I'm saying it anyway. Yeah. A-T-T-A-B-A-T-E-R-U. Ataba Teru. And I love the way they set up the backstory on it with a little boy on a blimp going to school reading a comic book about Tom Strong. And the whole time he's reading this comic book of his 
of his hero's origin. His blimp is being attacked by, were they blimp bandits? Is that what they called them? Maybe. Yes. Yeah, something or like that. Bl- blimp something. It was, I apologize. I, I read that one two and a half weeks ago. So blimp bandits or whatever. And he's oblivious to all this. He's also oblivious to the fact that Tom Strong is saving him. Yeah. The Until the thing. very end, did you like at the very end when he passes him by? I it was, love it. It was it. nice. It, the whole thing was, it was just, it was a beautiful, sweet comic. And the whole thing, every single one of them truly was a, hey, comics are, comics are good. Comics are fun. Fascists are bad, which I do love Alan Moore. Alan Moore gets a lot of crap for, not as much crap as, uh, as some comic book writers, but he's, he gets some, well, he's kind of fascist. It's like, no, he writes, what well, Watch, uh, Watchmen. Yeah, uh, and and the right wing stuff he goes with that, but it, it it's not. Sometimes people have trouble seeing when someone's setting a stage with that in order to do something with it and being that thing. And it's actually, I, I think it's uh, Bat Batman Returns. Bat no, what whatever the Dark Knight the, the, the Dark Knight Returns the Dark, the Dark Knight Returns. Frank Miller. Yeah, that's Frank Miller. Okay, Frank Miller is accused of being a fascist too, and as people. Well, and he's he says some stuff too, which is the but yeah. Granted, but in order for certain comic book characters to work, they have to be in a fascist society because they're fighting fascism. Correct, and you know, going back to what you're saying about this this writer, this author, Alan Moore, and, and Watchmen, he's on the record in a couple different quotes I've seen from him talking about how he's just flabbergasted that people's favorite like hero character from Watchmen is Rorschach. And he's like those, I mean, I can almost hear him in his own, you know, British slow speaking accent. You know, very deliberately saying that they're freaking morons. If if they took away from Watchmen, that Rorschach's the one that you want to get behind and cheer for. Yeah. Yeah. Rorschach is not the hero of this. Yeah. And maybe there aren't any heroes in that really, but yeah. That's a whole different. We, we at some. I swear, at some point, I'm going to suggest Watchmen. But it, but speaking of that, the fact that the same guy that wrote Watchmen that wrote V for Vendetta and countless other kind of, not kind of dark, heavy, serious stuff can then turn around and do something like this, which is so cool and sweet and, and uplifting and, and fun and fun it's and positive. Fun. Yeah. And he, he goes, and look, he's, he's have, I've really, I really enjoy, I'm getting kind of chills talking about this because I really enjoy this because it is just a fun throwback to the pulp comic, not even comic books, like pulp novels or yes. heroes yes. from back then. Oh, what's his face from Mars? Don Carter from Mars and all that stuff. Without the racism. Sure. Yeah. You know, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. You said that like that was a bad thing. You want to try that again? No, 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 no. <laughs> no. I mean, yes, because you know what? In this one, he right away, the island where he's at, black people that he that Tom Strong then gets brought up by yes, because, his, because parents his parents die. Yes. He's brought up in a tube. That's how many times the, the gravity of Earth so that he's super 20, strong. 20 times. 20 times. They're making a Superman. That was the plan. They're making a Superman. They were still, they were still loving and caring for him, but they were, he was, he, he didn't get human contact because they had to wear special suits to go down and, yeah. and see their boy. They and couldn't he, really hug him or, yeah. you know, human contact. And then also on the, on the Island, there's a uh, plant and I swear I wrote this down here somewhere, but I got a lot of notes. It's a root or something that keeps him young. Yes. There is a root that keeps him young because when we first see him, it's the nineties. Maybe. Or, well, yeah, there's flashbacks there. I mean, they're, they're all well, over the place. They I'm started... talking the blimp, the blimp one is like in the nineties. Oh, yeah. The, the yeah, first, the first, right. the, Ooh, almost episoded that the first issue is, is in the nineties flashing back to 1900. So he's 90 years old in this and he's aging. He does not look like he's, let's just say he doesn't look 90. He looks no. like he's in his forties. He's got like the gray side. He's got, yeah, he's it. got the little gray side. That's burns. it. Yes. That's it. Oh, so he ends up marrying the chief. It's a, it's a, the chief's a, daughter. The chief's yes. daughter. And by the time he's leaving to go to civilization, because of his help, presumably, they are now like a highly advanced society. They, they were, they were already incredibly advanced. I'll give you this. This was not a white man came. They were okay. Good. Yeah. No. They, they were a very highly advanced. Oh, that's right. They, You're right. They, right. They, they, they actually were helping them. Now, his father was a brilliant scientist. He made a, he made, of course, he made a, a, and it reminded me of, a lot of this reminded me of the first thing we read. Uh, Black Hammer? Yeah, yes, Black Hammer. There was some Black Hammer stuff, because, again, same source material, because 
the robot was kind of like walkie talkie or talkie walkie. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Newman. Because he was a pneumatic man. Pneumatic man. And then they had the reason that Hav decided to do this. They had a talking monkey. Well, a yeah, talking gorilla. Yes, they did. And he finally got to suggest a comic with a talking primate. Yes. And I don't remember. God, it's been a little bit since I read this, too. God, what was his name? Something Solomon. Grundy. No. Not oh. Sol- was it Solomon? No, I'm no. not making that up. I, I don't remember. Son of a gun. Because you know, Newman... You know me in names. Yeah, I'll find it. But go ahead. Gosh darn it. It's going to drive me freaking crazy. Well, no, it was just... Every, the art The art was so... It, it was definitely... It, it's wonderful to see the art that would have been in the original comics, only a little more cleaned up and not on newsprint. It, it, that That's how I would describe it. I, I know that doesn't make that much sense, but... No, it, it does. It does to me. Because it, it's very 40s and 50s style, but it's this beautiful. It's 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 more crisp. It's it's not on newsprint. It's obviously on my iPad, but it, yeah. it was and, and it was on full color sheets that are good paper with good four color process. So just just beautiful art. Well, and that okay. The art was by Chris Sprouse, who I just clicked on, and he won an Eisner Award for his work on Tom Strong. That's okay. how much everybody thought of. His work on that. The, yeah. the the art on this reminded me of the art on Powers, but different artists, I think. Just the just the general character design. Oh, okay. I can go with the character because, I mean, this is the art on. This is so crisp and comic booky, and that was so dark and noir. The, the, the coloring, yes, but just, I'm just talking about like the, how the, the figures, just general, like how the faces and, and bodies are exaggerated the certain okay. comic booky way. Okay. Anyways. Um, King Solomon. Yes, I found it too. King Solomon. And you, if, if Solomon sounded right, but you're right. Solomon Grundy. Mm-hmm. King, I mean, Solomon Grundy is not an, an ape, but King Solomon Newman. So the uh, wife is, I'm going to say Dalua. Dal- Dalua. D-H-A-L-U-A. The daughter is Tesla, probably for the electricity Elon dude. Yeah. No, not not him. So yeah, so yeah, so he, they 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 show the whole background. He's a bu- essentially a bubble boy, it, but a room boy. Yeah, what? it it is Blimp Bandits. Oh, that's awesome. B- B- Blimp Bandits. He when he's when he's with his wife. I, I'm looking at some pictures from this. No, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, because it, originally his father was. His 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 mother says to his father when they're at the island, Sinclair, I confess I'm feeling rather cold. We'll need shelter made for us before night falls. Have you assembled your invention yet? Almost, my dear. Once this steam calculator engine is screwed into place, I only have to light the boiler. So he's made yeah. a robot, a steam-powered robot. Yeah, I everything. And when I thought about you when I read this scene, the Tom Strong and his wife are lying in bed not long after they've gotten together, and I she brings something up. Oh, she mentions maybe it's time that they have a baby. And he said, uh, I was thinking about performing innovative brain experiments on a monkey, but I suppose we could have a baby as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Hav loves this. I know. It's, it was, it's awesome. Oh, the, the root? G- Galuka root. Gal- Galuka root. Or okay. veg- or, uh, some kind of vegetation from the island is Galuka longevity and blah, blah, blah. So his mom and dad die in a bad earthquake? That's yeah. what takes him down? Yeah, that something like that. Yeah, it does. Um, but it was good to get him out of the way so he could be ra- raised by people that actually would love him like they should love a child instead of putting him in a hole. They, it, was, it was tough love. Tough yeah. love. You know. They didn't know any better back then. So they mentioned right early off that his like arch nemesis is this Sav- Savine, Savine guy, Paul Savine. And we see him later on, which is fun. And I am, Nazi, and the female Nazi thing. You did not did you see get, that did, coming? You did not? What? You didn't see the Nazis coming? That they were no. going to be a player? Yeah, I did that not, was interesting. I did not see it coming. No. I just thought you were I'm, doing that joke for some reason. That no. Hackney no, no, did no. not see it coming. All right. Yes, they, they, had not, they had Nazis. They sure did. Except they um, were all attractive women, so I guess they were Hotsies. Ooh, that was just a bad joke right there. I know. Yeah. That, that, was, uh, that, that was bad, bad. 
Like it's a sad chicken. You're a sad chicken. So they pack a lot into the first issue. Did you read any of the filler or like the the page of just you of just like long paragraphs and no picture pictures where they're talking about the fake history of Millennium City and uh, the U.S. presidents that the fake presidents and all that? Did you read any of that part? Possibly. That's vaguely familiar. I read. I just read what was ever was ever in the comics on okay. DC thing. Well, so look, I, I don't mean to rush through or anything, but you get him going to he's a, he's he's going to Venus, you know, because he uh, he's Tom Strong, and that's when the Modular Man comes. Mm-hmm. Do you remember? What did you think of that? I, I thought story. The, I thought the Modular Man was kind of actually slightly weak. Really, of the stories, I thought that one okay. that one was weak. I, I I didn't really like that one that much. I liked the the last four issues, that four issue arc, the best. Okay. I liked what they were doing. They were introducing all of his... Uh, they were fleshing out this backstory on this brand new character, and I thought it was great the way they were doing it. Did but you it, think... He, go ahead. Did I think what? Did you think he had existed prior to I, him doing this comic? I wondered. Yes. I wondered. He did a good job on that because he's very similar to a lot of other things. So, And yeah. I did absolutely no research, as I am known for. Yeah. I, I did... I did actually think about doing research, so I could have Ooh. surprised all of you with knowledge. But why would I want to change a perfect streak? Oh, oh, that's that's good that you have that kind of self esteem. That's impressive. the The modular man. I was going to say I really liked it on reread because look, this came out in ninety nine. Uh huh. For it to, I feel like it was. Look, I know internet existed in ninety nine. I had dial up. Okay. So the fact that modular man was existing on the web back then. And you know, hid until somebody downloaded it. He, I thought it was a little bit ahead of its time. He wasn't hiding the I, the ability the the instructions to make him was hiding. I got I okay. I guess I okay. I mean, it's just a line of code on the internet that somebody had to download and start and actually. Well, you didn't. You download the instructions, and that you just had to have a couple of nerds that would do something stupid on the internet. I mean. Okay, just because you didn't like it, I I did. I I, I enjoyed I, it. I said it was the. I told you I really enjoyed this whole thing. I just thought that was the weakest of the group. I also thought it was interesting that the deal he struck with him was like, "Hey, look, what's frustrating um, is topical." Guess what, buddy? And... Guess what, buddy? I know it's always no, 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 yeah. no. My tired, stupid fucking ass pushed pause instead of download a while back. Oh no! Yeah. Are you joking? No, I'm not joking. <laughs> I wish Man, I was joking. How far back? I don't know. It says we got to 20 minutes. I don't know how long we've been recording because it, it moves. I just looked up. And I'm like, there's not, it's not the red thing. Now I'm recording. Oh, Do you want to go back and look? Or yeah. can you listen real fast? Me... Oh, man. Yeah. So hi, everybody. This is Charles with HobbinCharles.comics. We uh, stopped recording there while I was making fun of Hob for the module. Well, we stopped recording. The dumb moron that does the recording instead of no. downloading turned off the recording. So we... Uh, there's going to be some discombobulation here because I we, we, we kept talking for a while after that. So we were talking about the modular man and I was making fun of you. And then you convinced me that it, it was it was actually not that bad. And you know what? You know what they're going to miss? What? All the Rick and Morty talk. So it's no longer a Rick and Morty podcast. Everybody, oh, I, no, I, too I, bad. I apologize to all of you. You missed all of my absolutely brilliant observations about the latest season of Rick and Morty and also the stupid ones. So I guess it's a win-win for me. Well, the only points, I don't know, if, did I get to the point where I was talking about the AI? Did we talk? I mean, I, well, anyway, Modular Man, I liked. I, I did. Yeah, uh, you liked uh, it. Yeah, I, I didn't listen to literally everything. I was just going to the, the point of making fun of you. A little bit because okay. you were so but i yeah, liked it you you did and you should i there was some good in it i i agree and well and again I, like i said i don't know exactly where we left off but the fact that internet ai on um, you know it's it kind of hiding out on the internet and then also i i don't know if this part was before the pause or whatever but the fact that again he just strikes a deal and it's like hey take my spaceship you take venus get out of here leave earth all's good you'll never come back and try to conquer earth just go to venus and be happy with your own planet well, I, I also think that's in what was this is issue two or three? No, like two. It's like yeah, issue okay, two. Okay, so this is issue two. I think this is Alan Moore setting up a plot point for later. Oh, I would I would you know what I I didn't read that much of this, but I would I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah. I well, um, and, and even if that even if that plot point is hey, he made this good deal and he did let the guy that didn't want to die never die, and then at one point he might call on him for aid. Because you could work yeah. that one way or the other. 
because you can have yeah. that back and forth with Magneto all the time. And sometimes he does good for, and then sometimes he does bad, even though he's a genocidal maniac. So, yeah. Hey, even Dr. Doom sometimes joins the good guys when it suits his purposes. Sure. Even the Beyonder uh, was confused on whether he was a good guy or a bad guy. Yeah, yeah. Lex Luthor. I heard Lex Luthor was on the Justice League. That... Or in the Justice League? On the Justice Lex League? Lex Luthor, Gen- that would have been the Lex Luthor from the, uh, that came over to, see the whole Big Bang Theory we, discussion we had about yeah, them making fun no, of nerds. I'm, this is about no, to be I that. No, I swear. No, this no, is, I hold think on. It's... Hold on. The, the one we had offline talking about the mm-hmm. Big Bang Theory and how they made fun of nerds. I'm like, no, that's what nerds are like. I'm going to explain when... Lex Luthor was on the Justice League. It's when he came over from the universe where everyone in the Justice League, all the heroes, are evil. He's actually good. So he came into our universe and joined our Justice League in order to fight the injustice. Society the injustice society. Or, that's or thank you. They're called yeah. The bad guys. I think that's no. But I, I thought the bad guy also. Anyway, I don't. I don't read enough anymore to know. Yeah. I just remember hearing that. I, I never did. So maybe they did at some point have Lex Luthor, the regular Lex Luthor on it but god knows that's stupid just like they had osborne do the uh yes that's stupid too what was it called well that that was that was always he was going to be evil everybody knew that yeah but he but was part they, of the, the... he was part of the thunderbolts and then he took over after yeah then he took a, over after secret invasion or secret okay I think it was Secret Invasion. After Secret Invasion, he took over the Avengers because it was Civil War and Secret Invasion. So we had yeah. these all these things that it, that went on. Oh shit! Maybe that'll be my suggestion. There's lots of stuff, Charles. There's a lot of comic books. Did Good you know thinking. that? Because we've never anyway. So so the next one. So yeah, Modular Man I like, and then the, the next one was the one with oh, I already forgot how to say it. Quark, Quark, so, oh my god! I've never so known how to say memory. it. Huh? Do you remember what it said? I've never known how to say it, huh? Oh gosh darn it! We we oh my god! Don't don't <laughs> pretend like that didn't happen. Quetzalcoatl. Que- oh. que- que- Quetzalcoatl. Quetzalcoatl. That sounds about right. We uh, the the part that we eighty six. I have finally looked it up, pronounced it, and then I started saying it. But before that, he had gone on this thing. Had, somebody's going to write in that these that you idiots don't know how to say it. And I pointed out that I never tried to say it. So yeah. that was Quetzalcoatl. Quetzalcoatl. The Aztec god who in this in this comic the there from the a universe that the Aztecs were never destroyed by Cortez they then learn to multiversal travel and they go into universes where the Europeans won and take over everything and that's what they're doing and they have got a computer that does it and they've named it after their god but it's actually like a demon or a god or but it's a sentient ai it's a sentient ai okay which i think okay that and you may be right again th- that's uh, tired of being enslaved and and they fake a whole thing where the the aztec people the the people in charge actual humans think that quetzalcoatl is Tor- they've put up a fake screen where it shows Tom Strong being tortured, but really it's the the AI computer mm-hmm. serpent god Quetzalcoatl or however the heck you say it striking a deal with Tom Strong, saying, "Hey, you rub my back, I'll, I'll rub yours." And there's also a little thing where there there had to be trust going both ways. And at the mm-hmm. end, Quetzalcoatl was like, "Why did you trust me?" And it's like because you know I don't know. It was it was something like, "Hey, you hadn't you were shooting straight with me. I was shooting straight with you." And this is what this is how this is how, how I roll. Yeah, it was kind of uh, it was interesting. Tom Strong uh, has a lot of Superman in him. It's I, yes. I I mean the the base. In in fairness, the base that's where the the boys that created Superman, the boys that created Superman, created Superman based off the same things that Alan Moore based Tom Strong off of. It was all of those pulp stories. That's where they started from. So it makes sense, but it's it's just now all of us think of that as oh that's Superman, <laughs> right? No, it, it, I, I think you're absolutely right, and it's again just Tom Strong struck in deals with artificial intelligence, supercomputer, first modular man, now mm-hmm. Quetzalcoatl. You know, maybe maybe we shouldn't be afraid of AI. Maybe we should just be afraid of the corporations that make it. And I got something. I have a note. Did that issue happen in the year 2058? The Quetzalcoatl issue i don't think it was that no i thought the 2058 2050 is, was when the, in the nazi thing 
Is that here. the Nazi thing? Maybe that's why. Yeah, when there. they look okay. in the future, they look in the uh, future. Okay. Yeah, because they. That's right. Right. Okay. It was 2050, but, we, but now we spoiled okay. it. Well, I we have. I don't know. If there's much more to say about the Aztec issue. It was just one issue too. That's the other thing yeah. that I I just talking generally about this. Those first few issues were just standalone issues. Yeah. One, two, and three, uh, which is kind of cool and. I, look, I'm not reading a bunch anymore, but I remember when I was still was kind of a lost art to have a really good, concise one off. I mean, it seems like now either they stretch stuff out for better or worse or or I don't know. It's just it, it's just interesting that that I don't feel or or they just have these multi issue things. I was trying to make I heard some noise from my phone. I don't know why I was making noise. I, I, was, it, I was just having fun with you. I, you didn't have to comment off. on it. You... No, but hold on. I'm going to make sure my sound is off. How about that? How do you like them apples? I did not silence my phone because I, I know how to pod. I'm a pod person. Did, did you see what I just did? What? I just well, silenced we... my phone. <laughs> uh, we, I, I, we... I, you, you know why? You know why I didn't remember to is up until about a month ago, my phone was always on silence and recently I've needed it to be on. So I forgot that it's always on now. Always on now. Yeah. yeah. So that makes sense. That makes yeah. Sense. It was like, oh crap. Now that you mention it. Yeah. So then issues four through through seven, the last three issues are a three issue arc with the Swatsiga girls. Yeah. They drew Nazis I wanted to fuck. <laughs> I'm very offended uh, by that and ashamed uh, of myself. Hey, uh, but but there could but be hot large, people that are Hey, that look, are... large breasted blonde women in leather. Who doesn't do that? Who I mean yeah, but then she's then they sorry, not talking sorry. Their, oh yeah, when Nazi she opens stuff. her mouth, I'm no longer attracted to her. But still, well, that's how you feel about most women, isn't it, Charles? Oh, I did that. I do. I do like that. Is that why you're single? I'm not going to. Yes, <laughs> I'm not going to fall down the trap that Hav would fall down on this. And yes, and that because there are <laughs> yeah. some things that are just wrong. Uh, I couldn't help myself. And yes, um, w- 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 when a woman opens her mouth and starts talking about Nazi philosophy to me, I am immediately not attracted to her. That's you, a, that's, that's you fair. You are correct. That is fair. I'll, I'll, I'll allow it. I'll allow it. So right off the bat, it, they're in their, <laughs> their weird flying machines attacking them, and they send them back to like prehistoric time Pangea where there's this, this thing that's a slime mold. Do you, you remember that whole part? Where they send him back to prehistoric yes. times? Yes, when they send him back to prehistoric times and he meets Swamp Thing. Well, and I have it. It's like Swamp Thing. Yes. It, it's it's a, it's it's a evil primordial. Swamp it's evil Swamp Thing. It's Yes. and But again, doesn't he kind of strike a deal with the Swamp Thing thing? Or no? They struck a deal. The Nazis struck a deal with him. With the Swamp Thing. Slime mold thing. Well, and hey, I also and, had this note. And, oh, be, and betrayed the, uh, the slime mold thing. Well, Nazis. Duh. Nazis and the other dude, Savine. Savine, yeah. Savine comes out of retirement and faked his death for like the umpteenth time, mm-hmm. apparently, and is super old, but in cahoots with the old Nazis. Oh, I did have a note. The slime mold thing. Did, Dean Koontz, horror writer. You, I know you're not a big horror guy. Yeah, I've um, never read any you, of his stuff. Yeah. Okay. Did you ever see the movie called Phantoms with Ben Affleck? So there's this. Say that again. It, Ben Affleck. I, oh, I, okay. I remember, okay. Somebody, some comedian was calling him Ben Affleck. I don't know why that. Sh- I found that so humorous. It's a really, really great bad movie, Phantoms. Just so you know, it's about. So they try to explain, like you know how there's been those mass disappearances, like Roanoke, and then there's like a famous, like some garrison or huge part oh, of the Chinese army was they, marching. They, they try to explain that away with some kind of bog monster. Like a slime mold thing that every comes out of hibernation out of the ground and like these, it's kind of like a uh, a bog monster, I guess. Big, huge thing that can that can learn. Leave Schreiber's in it, Peter O'Toole's in it, Rose McGowan. It's a really great bad movie. It is a real. I mean, just the fact that freaking uh, Peter O'Toole's in it. He plays like the the uh, the learned professor that gets discredited because he's convinced he's right, and sure enough, this small sleepy Colorado town is overrun they are the, the whole anyways I, I, the slime mold thing reminded me of that all, all i took away from that is i need to watch my favorite year again my favorite year uh-huh what is that it's a peter O'Toole movie oh i don't i don't 
I've never seen that. Oh, wow. Okay. I've never seen uh, Lawrence of Arabia. I've never seen that, but my favorite year is the movie where he plays a Errol Flynn type character that was going to be on a comedy, uh, a comedy television show. And it's the writer of the comedy. One of the writers on the comedy TV show has to, is supposed to keep him sober. And it's, gotcha. it is, it, I can't believe you haven't seen that movie. I may actually make you watch that. What is it called? My favorite year. I think you'd really enjoy that. I probably would. My favorite year. Peter O'Toole. Yes. Okay. All right. I don't know where we were. We were talking about phantoms. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Bog monster. Sure. Yeah. Anyway, let's get back to talking about Tom Strong. Yeah, that would probably that would probably be better. So he goes back in time. How did? And I don't even remember. Do you remember how he gets back? Time gets, wise. Well, yeah, they, a magic device. I'm sorry, a technological device. It, no, it doesn't matter. It, it's just a device to throw him back in time. I know, and I don't remember how he gets back to the present. I totally forgot. Oh, he gets back into the present because the whole plan was for him to get back to the present. So he goes back into the past. He fights the bog monster. The bog monster takes him over to where there's another time machine that he's supposed to get in. And the bog monster's like, ha, 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 I'm actually going to kill you. But then he finds out that they've they've set up a trap to have a meteor shower destroy the bog monster. That's right. And so then he gets back in, gets through the time machine, and runs into his next villain. Because it brings him yes. back in time to the next villain, who was Paul Savine or his was, son. Well, no, it was it, it would have been Paul Savine, but they. Yeah. I thought it was somebody that I thought it was somebody else first. I don't. I have because he gets back and then he escapes from the thing that he did, and then he goes. Then he's back with. Well, I don't know. I literally had two weeks in between. It was Paul. I, I read it a while back too. Well, no, no, and no. My notes are no. not great. No, my, it was two weeks in between that's issue six, and I read the first half at least a week ago, and then I finished it today, and then read issue seven. So, oh, so yeah, it probably was Savine, and they're in where the his original lair was, and then they go back in time when they first when he first meets him, and he makes he causes the actual idea of heat to become a liquid, and they named it something. Yeah, they did. Oh, you're right. They do the throwback. You're absolutely right. To like, yeah, they, well, they do. They they did the throwback in in every one of these. The right, you're right. In, in in the last four, or three or four issues. In every issue, I, because the the issue that they're that that you missed because we just started talking about the bog monster was when they went and grabbed the Nazis went and grabbed him, and that's how he ends up going back in time because the Nazis yeah. attack first. Because it's their it's the their anniversary of something or no it's not it's they get he gets a card and it talks about an anniversary and it turns out that it was the anniversary of when he destroyed the Nazis and this yeah. one particular woman who was experimented on it was Captain America with tits it was Captain Germany with tits yeah it's she's, the she's Red Skull just, with tits I'm just gonna keep just saying, like saying tits I was gonna say <laughs> just you just like saying that word <laughs> you like the naughty words. Well, speaking of, every time they do a throwback snippet or section, they had some really good guest artists. They had art at it. So Chris Sprouse is the regular artist, but then interspersed with the throw, you know, where they had the little vignettes in the middle. Mm -hmm. Art Adams, Jerry Ordway, Gibbons from Watchmen, and then Gary Frank. Okay. Uh, all really top-notch artists. And, and that works really well, too, because it they really do throwback kind of art every time they go back. Like that. So yeah. it's a brilliant thing to have a completely different artist than to try to ask the regular artist to go, okay, now completely change your art style for this comic. Yeah. That, that yeah. would, I think that would even be harder, but it makes a very stark contrast, not a good, not stark in a, uh, a not very bad. obvious. Yeah. I, I stark sometimes seem, means bad and I don't mean that. I just, it's just very obviously a different style and it really makes it work. Yeah, and they even he even writes it in a completely different style. Yes, because he'll write it like it would have been written back there, only good. Because when they go back to the the forties to write the the first meet up with the Nazis, it's written like you would write a Nazi comic. Later, when he's the throwback, this first thing with Savine, they throw it right back into what could have been a Superman comic of the time or a Batman comic, actually, because they're they get trapped in a vat that they're going to pour heat on 
and he has to use well he uses his super strength to to break it whereas whereas batman would have used some i don't know a a, a lock pick that he had hidden in his cheek to pick the locks sure yeah, yeah. W- whatever yeah well and and by the way i was just looking at notes and and so the 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 issue with going back to pangea he had been there before from the 1950s when him and his wife went back in time for a second and he had encountered the master mold slime mold thing and then again he goes back and meets him again uh because the nazis sent him back and the the head nazi woman evil woman is ingrid weiss weiss uh, of course and uh you find out that at the end of world war ii when she had him drugged or knocked out she uh raped him yes uh, I, i'm not i'm guessing i mean i don't know that she took a, a sperm sample and you know did the whole in vitro thing maybe but she did but I, I don't know I, th- I thought the implication was while he was passed out she she copulated with him that's that's yeah i think that's called rape yes if he was unconscious well yeah i i was agreeing consent. with you okay all right um th- there is really only one way to get a sperm out of a guy even if she but, did go in vitro it would have been a sexual assault of some sort yeah so yeah and then he gets to find out that he's got a little nazi baby yeah or except half nazi. he's a full-ass grown man and he no he's completely nazi albrecht yeah he is he is a yeah he likes he, he's a mama's boy well he he was raised to be a nazi and yeah so he is definitely that and he does not like his father because his father is married to a a strong african island woman oh yeah and they a, they and use some a, words oh yeah yeah they they do use some words what In words terms, do they use hop i i i don't i don't remember and I, I blocked them out. Okay. Don't and, don't you and yes and me on that. It's my that's my kryptonite. No, yeah. Now I gotta say the bad naughty words. No, they it's, didn't. It's, they didn't use that word. No, they did not use they, that word. But they used some other pretty. Yeah, that it was it was definitely. It is the difficulty. Okay, I have to start, tell you a story. So I was at the place I was today, yeah. and I was alone in the room. And while I was waiting, my my mom was off uh, getting physical therapy. So I was I was in and I was listening to my book on tape while I played a game on my iPad. Yeah. And the book I'm listening to has going back, keeps going back in time to 1974 and police officers. And one of the characters dropped the N word. And I was like, oh, crap. And I had it really low. And I'm like, oh, dear Lord, thank God, because my phone just said the N word. (laughs) Wow. Whoops. And I mean, from a from a writing standpoint, it it was purely, absolutely in context for what it was. It's not, you know what I mean? But yeah, I was just yeah, like... Yeah, it wasn't gratuitous or weird. Yeah, it was well, just it was, it was time gratuitous, yes. But yes, it was, but it was a rather shocking, oh my Lord. <laughs> yeah. No, I gotcha. So, I gotcha. So, yeah. You know, I'll just go ahead and cut all of that out. Nope, sure. No, Whatever. I'm just... I'm just <laughs> Whatevs, man. Why are you smelling your fucking shoe, Hav? Because there was dog stuff outside and maybe I may have stepped in it. Okay. So I just I just <laughs> want to make sure. Okay. I, I kind of figured that, but good Lord. Anyways. But, I, you, and, you know I can see you, right? I know. I know. By the uh, way, it can't be that bad if you had to damn near touch your nose to the I, shoe. I, just, I mean, you there, are I just, just... I guess I got it in my nostrils and it just won't go... I don't because know. It's weird. Like, you what does smell? I, I was like... What, I, I almost wanted to tell you to taste it. Then you'll really know. Because <laughs> let me, let me. You would, all you would have to do is stick your tongue out. Because <laughs> it was that close. You, no. You, just... you know what I found? I haven't smoked in a while. Guess what? Smoking what? affects your sense of smell, Charles. Did you know that? I Sure. Huh? Yeah, now I, yeah. Don't smoke. I, hey, it's I'm It's bad for you. I know. I'm doing, I'm doing I, my best. I, I'm proud of you. Thank you. If that means anything. It does. Good. No, I, I thank you. No. Anyways, so so Sabine, anyways. yeah, Hav keeps, guy. T- Hav keeps talking about how he keeps coming back from the dead. Yeah, so they have a big fight with Ingrid Weiss, with Ingrid Weiss and Albrecht. Actually, what happens is his family shows up because they come to rescue. Because we've just been talking about Tom Strong throughout all of this, in at least not on his throwback times, but his daughter is battling, his wife battles with him, and his wife comes out to really go after this Nazi, Nazi. bitch. 
Yeah. I, I'm okay saying that. I, I don't really like to use that terminology around women, but I, I'm perfectly when, happy. When Nazis make, in front of it. I am perfectly willing to do that with a Nazi bitch. Yeah. And she beats that bitch's ass using the atomic knuckles yeah. that Savine had invented at one point. And it was it was quite glorious. I, I, I kind of enjoyed it because she is beating her ass. And I, I truly loved when she introduced herself. Do you remember that? Uh, I don't. Okay, she said I. She she explained that she was she was the daughter of. She said she was the daughter of so and so and the 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 king and this and punched her because she goes, "Who do you think you are?" And she so she said it again as she knocked the bitch to the ground. Yeah. And then Albrecht is fighting his dad, but his dad isn't fighting him back. And then he says, "Well." Let's let's see what the future holds. So that's where they go to what you were talking about, and they 20, go fifty something. Yeah, yeah. They look. They have a they have a very Superman-y type device because I've Superman has literally used the look in the future device, and they look and they see two uh, two thousand and fifty, and you first see Tom Strong in like a back to tank nerd, and yeah. they're they're doing something to to him to. Stop the Nazi stuff multiplying in his body. Sure. That his son. Well, I, I, I just read this today, yeah. and his son is trying to take over the world again, and his daughter is fighting the son, and he's saying very horrible things to her about her, and it, it's not gonna, not gonna bring it up. But understand that it's horrible. I hope that was the dog toy and not you squeaking your. It was. It was a dog your, toy. Your, your, she... your chicken. No, but she's got her her, her that's lamb fine. that makes that's a squeaky. Fine. That that's that's cool. That, wow, that's... you heard that? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. do you have a good microphone? It's I fine. guess I do. And so it turns out that yes, he's a Nazi, but that they, they 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 stop him again, and they made some comment about eighty years ago, but when you found out about Savine ninety years ago, and that's when it goes back because Hav keeps saying how Savine kept faking his death over and over and over again. Right. It turns out that Savine never faked his death, that he died the very first time, but he had a contingent plan where this creature, <laughs> that's hilarious, <laughs> this creature, that's, you're fine. Okay. Where, where this creature had, oh, I know why I can hear it better than you. Your microphone doesn't mm. come through your headphones. Ah. Your microphone comes into my headphones. Gotcha. Okay. So, so I hear the squeaking. That's also why you don't hear all your damn clicking. Anyway. Uh, yeah, maybe that's true. That's I know that that's absolutely why that's true. So it, it turns out that the Savine that the son was so proud to be taught by Savine so isn't actually Savine. He's this mimic type character. Uh, it, it's a bad guy that can. That's turn. right. He's okay. like, he's like, what's her name from X-Men? Yeah, I know. I wear my blanket. I just was watching first class. Well, I had it on in the background today while I was working. Mystique, gosh, darn yes. it! He, okay. He's he's like Mystique, only not hot and blue. Yeah, and nakers. Well, that's your hangup, dude. That's not a hangup. She is naked. <laughs> yeah, no, I, that, that's true. So they they then allow them to take the the mother and son to leave because his wife says no, she's broken. Yeah, she's, you you can let her go. I I broke that bitch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was awesome. I saw the defeat in her eyes. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The master race my ass. Yeah. I, I'm not, I, I normally don't like watching a woman get beat down, but if it's a Nazi, yeah. I'm okay with it. Yep. I, yeah. Nazis, uh, you know, punching out Nazis. It's always a good thing to punch a Nazi. Yep. So, hey, I'm glad you liked it. I am too. I'm very uh, glad I liked it. Guess what? Alan Moore, he's not a bad writer, huh? No, he is not. Alan Moore hey. is a very, very, very good writer. And I think I said this at the top. The other thing that's really cool about this is it is very comic booky to in a in a in a glass half full fun comic book, not dark and it's like some of his stuff. You know, mm -hmm. he just guess what he can do a little bit of everything. And this was one of his like I, I, the, we, like we described. You know, you you brought it up earlier. Like we described Black Hammer, a, like kind of a love letter. Exactly. To a certain type of comic book, a certain type of hero from back in the day, from like li literally, to steal your word, literally a hundred years ago, from the nineteen twenties, kind of hero. I, um, I I didn't I didn't invent that word. 
the, I'm stealing your your use of the word for uh, for now. Uh, the actual original meaning of it, you're stealing that. I it's okay. Okay, thank you. I I did I did really like this. I like this so much that enough that I think I'm going to continue reading it. I was going. I don't think it's a huge number of issues. Well, it um, was fun, and there's more issues, so I thought I would continue and read some. Of them yeah, cause... I mean, I, I it's I, look. I looked at. I, I had it pulled up. I, it's 36 issues. Okay. Total. Well, that's the original good, run. I think there's more series. That that's a good chunk. It's it's worth reading, and I enjoyed the seven we read. So I I definitely think I'll go ahead and and read more of them. Now there's a whole thing that we really didn't get into because it was America's Best Comics, which I think was also where Alan Moore did League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. It was under Image Comics and Jim Lee. And then when Jim Lee sold his imprint to DC, much to the chagrin of Alan Moore, his imprint also went with it. And he was not ecstatic about that. I'm sure he got paid, but it was not a, he, he didn't have control to say, no, I don't, I don't think. Because Tom Strong has shown up in DC Comics, I think. Oh, okay. Uh, anyways, so there's that. Okay. Just as a as a, a side note, I, that's my understanding. I read that years ago, but it, it seems tr- it, I, I seem to think I'm correct, but you never know. I could be wrong. I could be wrong too. I'm generally yeah. not, but I could be. So we have reached the middle portion of our podcast, where we often talk about how you can reach us, and if we have any mail, we read that mail. You can reach us through the website at havencharles.com, and there's a link up at the top that says Send Hav Mail, and if you click that link, you can send mail, and it's fun, and people do it. And I got a text right before we started from a, from a great lady named Julie that said, Hey, I sent, some, I sent something to you through the website, and so I immediately went on the, on to where I get the mail on my iPad, and I read it, and I sent a thank you to that wonderful, wonderful lady, Julie, who happens to be married to Hav. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. And she sent a message. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to read it, because Hav loves getting mail. He does. I he do, loves I it do. so much, his wife knows that, and so she's going to just start sending me mail, so I'll read it on the air so Hav is happy. So you have a great wife. I do. You do. I do. And I'm I hope wondering, you, and I'm wondering I, what embarrassing and, and I story hope, she's going to tell. I hope you still think that when I'm done. Okay. Go ahead. Hi, Charles. It's Julie. What did Hav do? Yesterday, he used a fork to get a piece of bread out of the toaster. <laughs> I instantly said, Never. And I, and I pronounce her like that because she wrote never in all caps. Okay. I instantly said, never do that. His defense was, it wasn't toasting. And, and I, I, I feel I gave a good take on how you said that. Yeah, you did. Uh, regardless, no one should stick a fork in a, in a plugged in, just use toaster. What really got me is that age 48, I don't think he knew metal <laughs> utensils don't go in toasters. I don't know if that's questionable parenting or a lack of awareness. Every day, I'm either surprisingly amazed or overwhelmingly disappointed. <laughs> Have a good podcast, Julie. <laughs> oh. So, yeah. So, I put in some hamburger buns into the toaster. There's no defense of this, huh? I know, but one of them got stuck. You know, it pop- one of them popped up, one of them uh-huh. didn't. Uh-huh. And there was a fork laying there, and I didn't even think about it. Look... Speaking of poor, not poor parenting, to poor like they were bad. We didn't have a to- we didn't have a toaster growing up, not because we just didnn't. I, are, we, are afforded, saying, we had other we had other appliances, but okay, for some I was, reason. I was going to say you're, you're you're not going to try this. We were too poor to have a toaster. No, right? it just because, for some reason because just, a lot of your friends from that era listened. You're going to get a lot of you would get no. we would we would actually ladies and gentlemen. Hav is saying he was too poor no, to have I a toaster not, as a child. So if he was saying that, please write us. <laughs> No, for whatever reason, we look. I, everybody knows we didn't eat at home a lot. Also, and I don't think my mom's going to listen to this. My mom wasn't big on cooking meals at home. We ate out a lot growing up, and for some reason, we I don't I don't think I'm making this up. I don't think we had a toaster. Uh, we just didn't. Not because we, like I said, we had refrigerator, oven, all that other stuff. I don't know, TV. 
We didn't have cable. We did not have cable. That was just because my father refused to pay for cable. He thought it was a waste of money, which, eh. But more more just uh, frugal, I'm going to say nicely. Mm-hmm. Anyways, but no, just I, just didn't, I was just like, yeah, it's stuck. There's a fork line right there. I'm going to use that to, poke, to pull it out. And then I did kind of like, eh, it was, she's like, no. I was like, you know what? You're, yeah, okay. I just didn't. Yeah, so yeah, I, I did that. <laughs> I'm not going to do it again. Don't worry. I'm, I'm good now. Now let me ask you this: If it's unplugged, I'm okay to do it, right? Yeah, you are. Yeah, actually, you are okay if it's unplugged. Yes. Okay. The That's whole what point. I thought. Yeah, th- that that is correct. As long as you you unplug it, you should be all right. Now you could also damage it by jamming a fork in there because it's a metal thing on uh, heating elements. Yeah. So yeah, that's yeah, yeah. probably still not a good idea. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did that. Um, yeah, I do some stupid stuff. You know that though. Yeah, but normally you're drunk. Yeah, no, Stone Cold Sober, man. Yeah, no, I I, I assumed that. that, that yeah. was... No, 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 no drinky drink. Uh-uh, no. So, yeah, yeah. So, hey, you can, you can, we're on the Twitter still, even though the Blood Diamond dude owns it, right? Blood Diamond something South African it, apartheid it's, it's evident, money. It's ever, evidently Emerald Mind. Not Emeralds. A, it was an Emerald, Emerald Mind, book. yes, that he's trying to go. retcon that it, that, no, I don't know where they got this idea that it was a... There was an emerald mine. We never owned an emerald. Then his eyes like, of course we had an emerald mine. I gave him like two hundred thousand dollars to go to the U.S. It's like I was a poor student. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So. And I bet you he had a toaster. No. Yeah. We. I. You know what? We must have had a toaster. We just didn't use it. I bet. Now that I think about it, that's that was probably the thing. Do you okay. remember toaster ovens? Maybe we had a toaster oven. You remember I, toaster ovens? I was going to say, I don't have a toaster. I have a toaster oven, which I hate. And I keep meaning to buy a toaster, except I don't really eat toast. So, eh. Yeah. Yeah. Except toast I, is... yeah, I'm not a big bread guy. Says a guy anyway. that eats sandwiches with almost every meal. Yeah, I love sandwiches. So yeah, uh, Twitter. We're on the Twitter. It's mine is at Havgonzo Tweets. Charles is at Herring Red Real. And then the Twitter handle on uh, for the podcast is at j and spelled out c talk comics yes and i think those are the primary ways i also tried to give us a little boost i got a thing the other day that you had two years ago published hey me and hover doing a podcast so i you can find us on the facebook where you know your grandparents go for their for their news actually there is a hov and charles talk comics facebook page that i started and that i have not updated (laughs) in at least a year and a half Okay, that maybe that's, fact, where this, that's where I got that thing that's from. That's probably where that came from, because a about a year and a half, when we started season two, I, I posted something that said, and maybe this year I'll be better about posting here, but probably not, and the probably not one supreme, because I just don't... There, it's a lot, man. Well, it's not, it's not even so much that it's a lot. Dealing with Facebook from a a standpoint of using it is not that great. It is not that great a site for posting things that you want to do and trying to find information based on it. Cause they really want to chart. Honestly, with that kind of page, they really want me to set it up. So I'm going to pay them money and I'm not, I'm not, no, I'm, I'm not paying them money. It's just no. not going to happen. Well, and, what I've noticed. Oh, good. No, that, that was it. That was my Facebook sucks rant. I started trying to go on Facebook just because of family and friends I want to keep up with that I don't talk but to. But they regularly. won't show you those. That's what I was going to say. So like once a week about like on a weekend, I'll go on there or if, if I think about it, I'll just. But holy crap, I swear more than half the things are advertisements or pages suggested. suggested. Yeah, it's just suggestion. I'm scrolling, yeah. scrolling, scrolling. And I'm like, OK, I'm done. This is. I do like looking back at the memories that they suggest for me, like, oh, here's a memory that you were tagged in this two years ago, seven years mm-hmm. ago. That's just kind of nice every once in a while. But otherwise, eh. Hey, you, speaking of, though, you started a YouTube thing for the pod, like yes. last year. Yeah, I oh, got two. You're busy. I, think there's, I know. I got there's two or three episodes up. Because you have to convert it to video because YouTube just won't let you do a sound file. So you have to put something in. And That's that, weird. And that takes some time. It doesn't take that long to do it, but then it takes a long time to upload because it's a video, video file. So, but it's, I mean, it's not really well that and trying to figure out, I had just gotten my new laptop and that 
I found out that it was shutting itself off pretty much immediately, so it stopped uploading. And I'm like, oh, okay, I got to set this up. So it'll. <laughs> I'm like, Whoops. why is this taking so? Because I was like, I'll just go put it over there, plug it into the modem, my router, so it's just got a good connection to that point at least, and and leave it. And then I did that, and it's like, yeah, no, it's it's not uh, doing that well. Oh. So yeah, there, there's a few. I haven't even. Oh, good lord! Now that you mentioned, I I until you brought that up, I'd kind of forgotten I did that. No, people, <laughs> people keep asking me w- about this and they're like, well, is is it just a talking? I, I love this that so many people think podcasts should be a visual medium now because they were originally just what we're doing. And now so many people then film it. OK, I guess that's it's, fine. But who would want to just watch us talk like we're I, but faces and microphones they, talking it's, to it's each on, other? It's on YouTube. They do that. It, it's it, it's just people do that. I don't know. And besides... It would be a much more difficult way to edit. Oh, my God. Yeah. Well, here's what I kind of think of. Like, this is something that when I'm listening to podcasts, I'm I'm in the car. Yes. I, 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 I hardly ever listen to the radio anymore. I just put on a podcast. Or, I, I or... listen to podcasts or books on tapes. I listen to them in the car. I listen to podcasts when I'm woodworking or doing something like that. Or, or if I'm exercising, I... I go to the driving range. I'll either I'll put on a podcast or maybe I'll put, I'll make a mix on YouTube of some songs I like. But every once in a while, I'm like, God, I'm tired. I've heard these songs. I've, it's a, if it's a mix I've made, mm-hmm. I've listened to all of the songs umpteen times. I'll just put on a podcast and just like hit some balls. Yeah. So anyways. Yeah. So I, yeah, I mean, I guess I don't know. Yeah. I'm fine with I'm fine with it not being a video thing with it being a talky talky kind of like a radio program. Yes. If you will. Yes. Uh, it, it's It's like a radio it's 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 a podcast it's for your ipod podcast yeah pod it's a pod we're pod people yes i'm going to politely ask you not to do that anymore no i'm well you can ask i know you you can ask i'm well aware that i have no control over you whatsoever except i control the edit button i was gonna say you so, can edit you could do the whole norm thing where they I, have it i have Something in my pants. You remember when they used to do that to Norm on the ticket? Where Groobs would edit the crap out of him saying stuff and they'd make him say obscene things about his pants? I do. Um, I do. Oh, the ticket. Anyway, so... Is that still on? Yeah, I think it might be. I think it might be. (laughs) I don't know. I legitimately have not listened to it in years. It's been a little while for me, too. Really, since COVID, I stopped listening. I'd uh, I'd actually stopped... 2020. Yeah, I'd stopped before that, but... Yeah, it's been a while. So we, we, we did talk about, we did read another, another comment. We little, did? Yeah, a little indie comic by a uh, DC, I think, called Flashpoint. And DC stands for derivative. Detect- oh. Yes, derivative comics. <laughs> no, yeah. Anyways. Detective comics. Yes. So we, we read Flashpoint. What did you think about it? I, you, know, you know what? I think I was a little negative when you suggested it no, at the end no, of the last no, podcast. No, no. That is incorrect. You were very negative. It's it's good. I mean, for you, you were ungodly negative. Right? I felt like um, personally attacked. I was like, it's like being savaged by a kitten. Look, with the stuff that I suggested, which are big, you know, big, you know, I've suggested Mutant Massacre. I suggested yeah. the, the Avengers Under Siege, the Mansion Under Siege. And it, it was just, this is something I feel like my whatever negativity it's because they've they've kept on going to this well since it, I, I when it when i realized it only came out in 2011 i thought it'd been out a lot long not a lot longer but a few like i thought it was earlier in the 2000s not 2011 not 12 years ago it just seems like it's something they've kind of gone back to over and over again in the comic books maybe too much and i think correct me if i'm wrong i know that the the actual flashpoint series that we read was five issues but weren't there crossovers galore when this came out i'm pretty sure there were i think they fleshed out a whole bunch of the stuff that did but this is all i have have ever read i may have read i think i've read like one or two other things that might have been part of it but i i i originally read and liked this matter of fact i have referenced this accidentally with the superman thing you did. Yeah, That's this right. is where, because I told you, I don't remember where that Superman came from, because I was thinking about that when we read the thing where he was Amish. I was thinking about this one, because I talked right. about that. It, it's like I can't come up with the other thing that was, yeah, anyway. Yeah. So this is this is what they're doing in the new Flash movie. They're not doing this, but this is where a lot of the stuff came from, is this Flashpoint that came out. And it was just another reset. It is an event book, but it was only five issues, this event. The actual main Flashpoint, the Flash part of it, which was the whole thing. 
and I thought it moved together well. I thought everything for a of all the things I say about event comics, the the problems with them, they're either too long or they're too short. I thought this one was concise as hell and worked really, really, really well. It did, you know what? And then okay, so I was all negative. I liked it. So it, and on reread because I read it when it came out, and I liked it when it came out. But then I remember getting a little bit of tired head because I felt like they kept on kind of going back to the flash doing this or that or changing up timelines, which look, it's a trope. It is what it is. This was done. Well, it was only five issues. It was very succinct to, to to the point where I was surprised, pleasantly surprised a little bit, but surprised it was only five issues thinking to myself, you know what? This could have been six issues. This could have been, they could, if they wanted to, they could have made it a 12 issue. Oh, thing. They, they could have easily, easily made it a 12 issue and, and probably not, probably not made it any better or worse just fleshed out some stuff that i feel like maybe was in other that's why i was asking because it was crossover because there's a lot of stuff that i remember either reading about reading or from the animated movie i saw that i'm like okay i had that in the comic book was that only in the animated movie or was it in one of these flashpoint batman flashpoint wonder woman flashpoint aquaman one-offs or whatever where you get into well so if anybody's look spoiler this came out in 2011 this is barry allen going back to stop his mom from dying so at the hands of uh professor zoom the reverse flash no barry allen wakes up in a whole new universe and doesn't know where the fuck he is that's how it starts but then no, you find I understand. out that... then you find out okay. that that zoom went back and saved his mother because zoom originally killed her he didn't go back because he doesn't have that ability that was the thing no. that they were talking yes i thought he stopped himself in the timeline eventually but he doesn't realize he has that power until he talks to bruce wayne's daddy who's the batman in this universe i just remember okay i thought he, i understand I thought, okay uh, yeah but in this he it's the 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 oh the reverse flash has the power because he has the opposite effects to actually change the time timeline but the flash didn't and barry is convinced that he doesn't have that ability and then yeah. I just remember him catching up to himself to stop himself from saving that's his at, mom. Yeah, that's at the end. Yes, at the end. Yes. To undo everything that has happened. Yeah, but he doesn't remember doing that because he thinks he can't do that, but it was caused by... It, it's confusing as fuck. It Never is mind. confusing. We, there we, is we, there we, is some confusion. Yeah, we, we, stuff. We, and we both read this weeks ago. Yes, it was a little while. So it was good. I totally love Thomas Wayne. Thomas as Wayne as Batman is incredible, and I love him electrocuting the fuck out of Barry Allen because he, he can't... He's not he's not the Flash there. Yeah, he doesn't so have his powers. He doesn't have his powers, so he recreates it, and he makes Thomas Wayne recreate it. Frankenstein. He yes, Frankenstein's and him. I mean, they literally Frankenstein him and just fries the shit out of him, and it doesn't work, so he does it again. Well, in fairness, Thomas Wayne does not want to do it again. Yeah, he's like, uh, you got like, bad, you know, whatever you, degree burns yeah, over seventy five percent of your body, yeah, you, you're gonna you, die. You're gonna die. He's like, hit me again, Tom. And, and, and Thomas Wayne is a doctor too, so it's not like he doesn't. I mean, if he's like, well, I can't do this to you again, you'll die. He's like, well, I'm gonna die without it, so let's do it, and I'll be the Flash. And the the whole battle between the the war between Wonder Woman and pretty cool. Aquaman and Aquaman Atlantis is and, awesome. Uh, Atlantis and Themyscira. Themyscira is that how we say that? Yes, that and they drowned it. England. If it's Aquaman an island, drowned England. No, I just, I just love that. Not, not in that way. I just liked the idea. I don't think we should drown Britain. Okay, good. I'm glad you're going to go out on that on that limb. I'm thinking take that about position. It. Hold on, hold on. I'm not. I'm not sure okay. I'm married to that. No, uh, right. they are. A, a, they do have a hereditary monarchy. Yeah, it's so weird. Dumb. Yeah, Julie's and, a big. We watched the coronation. Oh dear, we got Lord. up early a couple of People, Saturdays. Oh, ago. I'm so sorry. No, it was interesting. No, you're wrong. No, it was interesting. It was really. He actually made it a lot more inclusive. Had different people of different religions there, not just the Church of England. And could you see me roll my eyes? Yeah, I could hear you. Okay, roll your eyes from here. I'm sure so, anyways, the fucking room probably moved as so hard as I rolled. Aquaman, oh, well, speaking of Aquaman, hereditary oh. monarchy. I didn't vote for you. Um, there, so you okay? It's it's mentioned in this that sh that Wonder Woman is wearing the crown or helmet of Aquaman's dead wife. And I don't think they can be explicit, explicitly say it in this, but I know I read it back then somewhere else, and it's definitely in the animated movie that they made about Flashpoint. So Aquaman and Wonder Woman hook up, and then Mira finds out 
Aquaman's wife and tries to kill uh, Wonder Woman or attacks her and Wonder Woman like chops her head off or something. It's something bad. Oh, so that's why, is that what the starts the war? Yeah. Oh yeah. shit! Did you not? See, yeah. Nope, didn't know that. I, I well, that's from the anim. I mean, I I don't remember if I remember that from the animated movie or from the comic book because now I'm conf- I'm conflating the two. That's fine. I do that all the time with when I've watched. The, but I, it's, it's, you should talk, check out the animated movie. I I've seen it. I just okay. don't remember it. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's I saw it a few years ago, and I will say, as I've said before, I don't know why their movies, their live action movies, have been bad. Their cartoon movies are good. If they if they put if they doubled the budget for the cartoon movies and made the animation the way they do the Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse movies, those things would have made tons and they wouldn't be direct to video releases. They're really good because they're taking really good source material and they're not letting some jackass fucking auteur libertarian act a uh, director Snyder the fuck out of it. <laughs> Sorry. No. Hey, it, it, well, okay. Other things in this that are not in this run that I don't know are from the comic books and the one-offs or just from the animated, the Joker being Martha Wayne. Do you remember that from the animated? No. Yeah. So. Oh, now that you mentioned it, the animated did have it. She, see, the Joker wasn't in what we read here. So I No, I, the Joker is, wasn't. So and I want to know there, now, if, is that only from the animated or is it also in one of these one-offs? I don't know. Now I'm, now to, I, yeah, yeah, I may I'm have wondering to if there's this. an omnibus. I'm sure there might be. I, I, my guess is everything, most of that is going to be on the DC app. I bet you. There is an omnibus. Holy crap, how many pages? Is it? Holy shit. 1,504 pages. <laughs> wow. That that's even for comic books, that's a little long. That's, that's a little longish shot. That's a lot. So yeah, there there's a lot to it. Okay. I may have to play around in that universe a little bit more though, because there's some stuff that I like. It's, I just I just thought this really worked for an event a, of just not most of the time when you read an event, if you just read that, you don't get enough out of it. That's why you, you when when you're like, let's do I, I've mentioned doing the spider verse and I hesitate because there's so much to it that I feel like we'd have to read all of it right instead of just what was considered maybe the the original linear spider verse that the the small call it maybe 12 issues right instead there's like 50 or 60 issues when you break break it out into the web warriors and the ultimate spider men so there there's all sorts of stuff in it and well and a lot of times when and did i mention spider man anyway go ahead <laughs> nice Who's your wait? Wait, is is that like a fa- do you like Spider Man? I I I have been known to enjoy a Spider Man comic. What? Yeah. What? Well, I was gonna say. Oh no, because a lot of times when these big events happen and there is a concise like here's the main series. It's only six issues. It's only five issues in this case. It is a little lacking, mm-hmm. and you almost have to read a whole bunch of the other stuff for it to be kind of. But this is good on its own. But I feel like there's a lot of other stuff that other. I mean different creative teams on their own comics i I think it was like hey play in this universe for an issue or two batman superman oh because superman in this see that this is the skinny superman it's the skinny superman it is because he's looking for superman for when when he awakens in his job as a lab tech i'm sorry a forensic scientist for the central city police department central city Did I nail Something that? Like, yeah, sure. that, that probably. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, they're Central City because it's uh, you Star know City. From the is... Flash, Flash TV show. Yes, that's literally. Well, yeah, that's literally where I know it. Uh, and they did Flashpoint in uh, season two. Yeah. Season two or season yeah. three? When when, season when I was three. still watching. Season when three. I was still watching. It was season three. Okay. Uh, the reason I I know that because I've watched it more than one time. I'm a nerd. Um, oh, wah, 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 wah. I said I know that because I've watched it more than one time. I'm a nerd. Oh, we know you're. Well, yeah, you're. you're a nerd, but that's not a bad thing. No, I, I don't. I don't think it's a bad thing. So when he when he comes to, or just realizes that things are wrong, he decides he has to go find somebody, and he decides Batman's the guy to let. Well, because you know what, you give Batman enough time, he'll fix anything. Yes. So he and he realizes he doesn't have his powers because he's running. He realizes he's not married to his wife, but he also realizes his mother is alive, which is Nora. Her name's Nora. Nora. Yes. And his father is dead because his father has died. But he got and he then goes to Gotham. He drives to Gotham. He breaks into Wayne Manor and finds his way down to the Batcave. And then Bruce beats the crap out of him. 
Yeah, not Bruce, Actually, but Thomas. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Then Batman beats the crap out of him. Although for a super powered superhero, he that doesn't have his powers, he holds up pretty well against Thomas Wayne. Yeah, he he puts up a decent fight. Um, as he says, "You taught me this," and then he realizes instead that it's Bruce. It's not Bruce Wayne. Bruce was Bruce died in this, and Thomas Wayne went insane. Yeah. So one of my nitpicks is why. I know it's a whole butterfly effect, mm -hmm. but so in this universe where Nora Allen doesn't die in the, in crime alley, after they see Zorro, the, the mugger <clears throat> shoots and kills Bruce and Thomas, maybe he shoots Bruce and Martha or just Bruce and Thomas Wayne survives. But regardless what, what, by not even, I guess it's a nitpick. I don't know. What about the butterfly effect of Nora living cause that shooting in that alley? I, like what's the, what's the causal effect, you know, why that happened and why did the ship from Krypton not land in near Smallville and instead landed in the middle of, you know, what th th that's the nitpick I had that maybe he's explained somewhere. Maybe it's not, it's, you I know, duh comics, but that's a nitpick, I guess. I don't know why i thought about that i kind of didn't think about it that way but i i will think about it right now and say it's not so much that that's the butterfly effect on this it's just so happens that a universe one of the universes that she doesn't die in also has all of these other things that happened okay so there are other things that have happened in this it's not just that one thing that changed that caused all these other changes. It just so happens in the randomization of these, in this randomizations of these universes. In this one, this is what this happened. This is what happened. They could be a, across, not yeah. intertwined. It, it's not, not, it's, this ne does not necessarily affect that. It's just, this is a completely different universe. So some things happen differently. This one in a billion shot that any one of us are born because the, that particular sperm hit the egg. I mean, if you think about the randomness of any one of us being born, yeah, our, our exact person, that these things can just any difference. So in the universe where this happened, tons and tons of things are going to be different. So yeah, I that's how I look at it when I see something like this. It's not necessarily that her living caused all of these things. It's this universe is this. These are the differences because you have to you have to realize if multiverses do exist and it's all based on different decisions that we each make all the time one way or the other there are are you can't even calculate how many different universes there are and you can't calculate because you can't calculate how many different people of us are born and not born that butterfly affects across everything no no i got you i got you i'm sorry i'm 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 looking at how how there's you're, not th you're ignoring me i got you no I, I get that no i was listening and i get it just time travel and uh, it, it just gives me tired head sometimes we're, we're not talking about time travel I, not, just like I know. The, just like the marvel interview M multiverse i know they're they're, yeah, blah, well, they're yeah. jumping through time but also through into dimensionally into different universe alternate 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 realities. timelines, yes, yeah, and at a different time point, you cannot travel back in time in your own universe. You I know, can travel to another universe in a different uh, time. Uh, That's right. I know. I know. Right. Oh, speaking of, did you see everywhere, everything, all at once? No, I haven't yet. I liked it. Okay, uh, I, w I really want to see it. It's good. What else? Oh, because yeah, so I do want to know if if it's only from the animated. But I feel like that animated stuff is heavily based on the comics. Almost almost every one of those animated things are lifted directly from the comics. So I want to say that Martha Wayne in one of these one-shots turns into the Joker. I think you're right. So, yeah. So that's interesting. So in this one, you have Captain Cold as the hero, although really a bad guy of Central City. Mm -hmm. Or Citizen Cold is what they call him, rather. You still have Cyborg. And a matter of fact, some people are trying to prove that he's a bad guy, but he's not. He's, he's a good guy, because I like that. Yeah. Because there's somebody, oh, no, he's a, it does, yeah. And then you have, look, the war in Europe is just tearing, it's going to go global, <clears throat> and Cyborg's trying to raise an army. <clears throat> and he, of Metis. <clears throat> of Metis, but he, everybody, nobody wants to go along with him unless he gets Batman. And Batman's like, see ya. And, well, and then in, apparently... In, in, in fairness, Batman see you because Batman does not care if this world lives or dies. This Batman is killing people, and he kills them by dropping them off the building right above Crime Alley where his son died. He's broken. He, yeah, yeah he's, he's not in a good place. What else? So do you think Michael Keaton's going to be Thomas Wayne? That's a good point. I bet you not, but you never know. Maybe. That'd be cool. Would also explain his age. Yeah. Of course. That'd be cool. Yeah. I'm totally fine with that. Yeah, and if he's like really, yeah, it'd be interesting if he was just like a vigilante 
killer vigilante. That'd be that'd be and well, get super. Every, yeah. Uh, by the way, every Batman that has been out of the comics, every movie Batman has killed people. Even every, in Batman eighty nine. Okay, I apologize. You're right. I yeah. forgot about Batman eighty nine. Every or, uh, every every. No, the campy ones from back then. I, I, feel I know. Like... I'm saying they didn't. I'm agreeing. I apologize. I'm talking about Christopher Nolan. I'm start starting starting with Michael Keaton and going on. They've all killed people except Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton killed people. Who did, who did he kill? Watch the movies. Okay, we'll see. I'll, right. I'll keep a count. I swear he did. I, I may be wrong. I they they just seem like they're not as Batman worried. doesn't kill. Yeah. Okay. You can say that I, in I, this I universe in also where he does. Abin Sur is still the Green Lantern of Earth. Yes. You got you got a whole bunch of this is oh, this one's the one where okay, this is what I was talking about. So Jeff Johns wrote this. Mm -hmm. The art's by Andy Kubert. Jeff Johns' is Shazam Captain Marvel is where all the orphans say Shazam and they all together turn in they all have to say Shazam and they all turn into Captain Marvel together. It's yes. a weird take on it. And I never really dug. I did like the fact that Tawny the tiger is a house cat to everybody else, but is actually a tiger. I thought that was cool. That was cute. But that was one thing about the Jeff Johns Shazam Captain Marvel that I never really, I don't understand why they had to tweak that part of it. And they couldn't just have Miss Marvel, Freddie Freeman as Captain Marvel Jr. You, you mean like they did in the Shazam movie? They could right. all be their own. Yeah. Yeah. And I did, I, I even liked it in the Shazam movie when instead of, in the original comic when they would all use it, it splits the power because they all break off into a different a different one. Yeah. So they all have that power. So when the original Captain Marvel would say Shazam, he'd have the power of all the gods. But when each of the other ones would break off, it would break off that power to them. So that's why they each had their own little thing, thing. that they were good at when they when the, when they were doing it. So. I guess he didn't want to deal with that, so instead he just shoved them all into one person. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I was just one of the. Yeah. That's a nitpick. I, um, no, it's not. No, I, I, I don't like that either. It was. So. It was. It's just a weird tweak on what didn't need to be tweaked. I mean, if anything, just have them all be superpowered and yes. not have them. Yeah. You like know, they did be, in the movie. Exactly. What else? You had the outsiders, but it was a weird group of outsiders. Uh, I, I. That's why they're outsiders, huh? Yeah, Pied Piper is one. Uh, you know, it's uh, the, the some of the Flash bad guys. Mm -hmm. Pied Piper's in there. You had Enchantress. You had Shade and the Secret Seven. It, I just wrote down some of these names. You had Deathstroke and Icicle in Europe, and I think they get slaughtered by Wonder Woman. Steve Trevor is in Europe trying to rescue Lois Lane, but I don't know if anything ever comes of that. I think it's just mentioned that must be something else in one of the other comics, or he does find Lois. I forget. I forget. Something happens with that. He does find Lois. Yeah, that's right. At the very end. Mm -hmm. So in Batman, Thomas Twain's whole thing is when he finds out that Barry Allen's actually telling the truth when he gets his powers, essentially, mm -hmm. and he could fix everything. He's like, OK, I don't care about anything else. If you can bring Bruce back, I'll, I'm with you to the end, buddy. Mm -hmm. And so they do their thing. Yeah, that's uh, that's what finally makes the, the addition of Flash and Batman gets everybody to gang up and go after him. And then the real thing is he then goes back and saves his mother, stops himself from killing it and everything goes back normal. I mean, it was just, it was a, now it all wraps up kind of comic, but everything about it was just fun. But we were talking about the Superman thing because yeah. I, I mentioned this, I, I got confused about when, when we read I did. I thought the nail no, no. for some. Okay, no, no. Yeah. I got I got confused about the nail because I thought that was the one where Superman was this emaciated thing that came out. When I, I I mentioned that when I was reading it, I thought that was what it was leaning up to. That that's where they found that because I had both read the Flashpoint and I'd seen the movie. And they the government got hold of Clark Kal El when he got there, and they've been experimenting on him his entire life. He's just been living in the dark or anywhere where the sun can't reach him so he doesn't have all his powers and flash is like i know this guy we've got to get this guy to did a did a did a plane crash and he's the most powerful being and he's just the greatest dude and he'll save us and blah 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 and they go find him and they break him out and it's a bit of a battle they break him out and then he just tears off once he once he gets out in the sun and he can fly he just takes off and goes and he just leaves and he well, you know what? It, it makes a lot of sense. And, no, I'm not. Yeah. yeah. And and uh, Thomas Wayne's like, okay, so that's 
bullshit. And, and I like the flash. She's like, no, he'll be back. Yeah. He, 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 that, that's I, I no world. I love that. He's talking about in no world. Is he not just the greatest? I'm like, that's just fucking bullshit. You've been to the crime syndicate universe. You know, there are worlds where Superman's not great. <laughs> Now yeah. they're they're very few and far between. I get it, <laughs> but, but they some, do exist. But God damn it, you've been there. You've yes, seen it. You, you you fought the Red Rocket or whatever they call the. Yes, they call them the Red Rocket. <laughs> Red Rocket. You just scratch yourself up. Look at you. Look at you. Uh, I, I have uh, a problem. So the crime syndicate's flash is called the Red Rocket. <laughs> Oh my God! Go ahead, just let it out. You don't have to stifle your laughter. You cracked the, you cracked your, you, you crapped yourself. You cracked yourself. <laughs> I, Maybe you are gonna. You're laughing so hard, you might crap yourself. I did not crap myself. Did I, hey, hey, hey! I it's okay. If, if a little I, pee came out, it's okay. I, it's it's okay. You're at home. I'm not saying you should just crap or piss yourself when you laugh too hard just because you're at home. But if it happens, it happens. Nope. Not judging. Yeah. Not judging. So. It, it is a it is it then becomes a very dc comic because when all is lost and they're about to just be destroyed and there's nothing they can do that's when kal-el reappears and saves the day he's had yes. enough enough yeah, of this like, shit and en- like i think he says like yeah enough. he does he says enough and it's a very it, it honestly is a very superman thing it's enough and that's yeah. what that, that's what Supergirl is going to play in this next movie. Superwoman i want to say cuz she looks like superwoman the, from the comics the other thing i was going to point out in Europe, there are the Resistance, led by Grifter from Image Comics, and the Demon, and some other folks. So, yeah. What else I wanted to point out? Oh, hey, at any point in this, do you remember? I don't remember seeing Martian Manhunter. I don't remember seeing him either. And is there any explanation as to why? Not in this, no. They, okay. they You know, they, they, they just pick and choose who they want to I use. I know, but he's kind of like a big Justice League mainstay. Yeah, my guess is because of his power set, they decided not to have him because pretty much the most powerful one in until Superman got there on the on the other side. Because, I mean, Aquaman is, is fairly powerful if he's in the water. And Wonder Woman is the second most powerful person in the DC universe. Right. And then Superman's the most powerful. And then the Flash clicks in behind them and they didn't have a Green Lantern. So I think they just 86'd out you see what I mean? Yeah. Because because they took away they took away his ring, yeah. for Hal Jordan, so they didn't really have the Green Lantern, and then they I think they were just trying to equalize that battle. Well, and then okay, so this this brings me to my other nitpicks about these big DC things. Not as for some reason I don't get us hung you're, you're up on this get in back the Marvel because why they didn't have the uh, cosmic the, yes, the supernatural every time, every time you bring it up. I, well, because you know what? I need to start doing it. I need to be uh, equally critical of the Marvel stuff. Like, where's... Because Doctor Strange is really the only... I mean, big one. In in in, in DC, they got the Spectre. They got Doctor Fate. They got it, uh, Phantom Stranger. They most got, of the time, Doctor Strange is up his own ass. I mean, Or he's the cause of the problem. Yeah, well, I mean, right now he's been the cause of the problem. Yes. Yeah. I mean, they, they took care of that shit in the Spider-Man movie. So happy uh, that it's just going to be... a fucking spider-man movie in the next one though which one spider-verse or no well that Isn't... oh god yes i know i've i've got a uh i've got i've got nerd wood about the spider-man movie are your spider-man pants going crazy oh my god yes stop talking about my pants was you know your spider-man stop, pants stop not just your pants about my pants well you i'm and, not talking about you your pee you your pee crapped pants i'm talking you, about your spider pants you and your pants fetish it's, one, speaking of movies, I'm bad. I'm a bad fan because I really did like Shazam the movie, and I haven't seen the second one. Have you? I haven't seen it either. Yeah, I feel bad. I don't think it did well. The I haven't office, seen. I feel. I, I it's the Rock's fault. I haven't seen. Uh, it is Caesar. I, I haven't seen Guardians of the Galaxy three yet. <laughs> I mean, you know what? Me and Julie saw it on our wedding anniversary weekend. It was nice for you. I see why she says she's either wakes up amazed by you or extremely disappointed. I yeah. Well. I'm I, just trying I, I to. I'm I just took... trying to keep it fifty-fifty, man. I just don't want the balance of to go more the bad way there. Is... Well, I, I was going to say taking your wife on her wedding anniversary to see a Marvel movie. I don't know if that's a. It was her. It was her kind of. It was her gift to you. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I yeah. can see that. That that's. Uh, funny. It was, but you know what? I know you've probably read a little bit about it. Well, I'm not going to spoil it. No, I haven't. I haven't. I, I literally okay. have not read anything about okay, it. If I'm you not say, say anything. If I'm you not say, say a fucking word, I will get, I will, we will stop this podcast right here and I will drive to your house and I will slap you in the face. Word. 
Come on, I'm waiting. But I said if you say a word about it. I didn't oh, say if you say if you say word. word. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just wanted to see. Oh, uh, we're look. It is 10:36, ladies and gentlemen. I think we're both a little goofy tired because I know I am. Because this is not as funny as it's making me laugh as much. Again, I can't talk the words now. I'm not as good verbalistically after 10. It was good. Look, I was poo pooing on this when you suggested it. I think again. I, I don't know why. You know, in hindsight, I don't. I, I still stand by. I didn't like the way Shazam. Jeff Johns, the way he reconfigured Shazam, Captain Marvel, in he- see, but besides see, that, that's a nitpick. You you were trying to be me, and it blew up in your face because you liked it. No, you end up usually liking the stuff I suggest, even though you don't want to admit it. You're I a d- liar. I did. I did. I did. You like are this. a liar. <laughs> uh, okay, so there's all that, and it was good. And I might have to look. I have to read more Tom Strong, and I'm going to have to. I'm. I like these big event books. And I'm looking 71 issues all in I for liked, the whole event. I liked, I liked that one enough that I might read some of the other issues around it. I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm in for 71. I'm not going to do it like I did some of this Marvel stuff I've read because I've read all of Civil War. I've read all of Secret Identity. I've read all of a number of these Marvel events, but that's because yeah. I really know those, a lot of those characters. So I was like, okay, what were they doing in, during this event? So. Yeah. No, I'm just looking because some of this stuff, like there's a whole Batman Night of Vengeance. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now my Batman pants are going crazy. Okay. So, hey, so that was fun. Yeah. Before we thank everybody for listening and all that, uh, you know what you want to read for next time? Maybe. What do you want to read? I've been, look, we've probably been reading, I don't want to make this a Alan Moore and Grant Morrison podcast, Mm -hmm. but... I've really been wanting to read Grant Moore's new, the beginning of Grant Morrison's new X-Men run. Okay. From back in the 90s. Okay. Let's do that. I'm, and I want to say they're really short. So it's either the first or one or two arcs or, or collections. And I think they're they're on Hoopla. I'll shoot you screenshots. But I'm going to get some, get, I know we just did a Grant Morrison DC mm-hmm. and it got, I've been, it's been on my list forever. Okay. Let's read so, that. So yeah, that's going to be my suggestion. Okay. I'm, I'm just going to do, I've talked about it now on this one. So let's go ahead and just read Civil War. Hot damn. Because we haven't done it. And... I did not prepare. I was I I was going through lists of stuff and thinking about things, and I wanted to do a more fun comic, and I couldn't come up with one. And I've got something else that's sitting on there, but we've just done some of these. And then I was going to think about doing. There's a guy we just read first, Tom Strong, author Alan Moore one that I want to <laughs> do. There was an there's an Alan Moore one I want to do, but we just read the one because that's what popped in my head. Well, let's just go do this, and because it's another fun one that he did, but yeah. that it'll wait. So let's do Civil War. We can talk about it. Just just the Bendis, the Civil War part. We can talk about it. If you've read any, any of the other stuff, we can talk about that as well. But don't feel you need to read. I just mean the, the linear the core. Civil War one. The core, like we did with Flashpoint, just the core one. Gotcha. And and if you do, like I said, if you do want to read some of the other ones, you can. I may look into some of them. We, we could, And we can talk about a lead up to it. And we just talk about it. I, it, it it's not my favorite, but there's a lot of, there's some interesting ideas that they went with, you know? So. Yeah, no, Civil War, and I read it when it when it came out. Did you read New X-Men by Grant Morrison back when it came out? I'm guessing no, no since you're not a big X-Men person. And I wasn't reading anything. You said it was in the 90s. I didn't read anything in the 90s. I want to say it's mid to late 90s, but I could be. Okay. I'll, I'll find it and, on Hoopla and, or Marvel. And I, yeah, like I said, I didn't read any of that, anything like that. I, I wasn't reading comics in the 90s. Yeah. Okay. I was, no. I was I was busy in the 90s. I was busy not having sex with women. Well, there you go. That takes a lot of time. I, it does. I'm not being even sarcastic. <laughs> it's a full-time job. Not having sex with women? You got it because, yeah. It's just, yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know where I'm going with that. <sighs> so, yeah, that was fun, man. Well, hey, look. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Charles, yes. thank you for, as usual, doing all the heavy lifting on the production, editing, publishing, and dropping the podcast on on everywhere you can find your 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 favorite podcasts like Spotify and Apple Music. I don't know. No, nor, normally, I appreciate you saying that. Um, right now, I feel like you're personally attacking me since I I'm failed. Not. To tra- no, I know, I'm not. I know, I know you're. Not, I know you're not. 
<laughs> because you could you could you could say, look, you have you have a month to do this, and I would I would be like with a hammer, like hitting my keyboard. I can like I why? Can, I can teach you how to do it in at least an hour. Okay, it, it's not You're that being, hard. Yeah, no, all it's right. not that hard. It's just it's it's a time sink at times. Uh, and that, yeah. That's all. All right, yeah, everybody, thank you very much for listening. We hopefully we'll get back on the regular schedule again. I appreciate all of y'all's patience and time. Bye. Yeah. Bye.